Well, g'day. It's been a while since I've been uploading a movie for you or YouTube. So here we go. I said in my last couple of YouTubes that I wanted to do some of the Heisen Trail. So in the past couple of months, I've been getting some gear put together and doing some bit of training to start walking the northern area of the Heisen Trail. So today, being the 13th of June, I'm doing my first section. Now I'm only doing a small section, I'm just doing to the Mount Elm campsite, staying overnight and then hike, hiking up to Jarvis Hill. So it's just a short one, just to try some gear out, something interesting. I'll uh, show you, see how we go. Okay, I don't know you can see, but in the background over there, and if I go this way a little bit, the base of those hills in that area over there, apparently is where the Heisen Trail is. I still, uh, I'm not on the trail yet, so I've still got a little way to go. Um, I'm looking forward to actually coming to the gate with the Heisen Trail sign on it. So I'm actually now I'm, I'm starting my uh, my little adventure. So I'm just going to keep walking. Uh, just walking on private property at the moment. I do have permission from the owners to be here because I'm off the Heisen Trail. So look at the look at the view over there. Isn't that fantastic? The clouds look a bit ominous, but I'm hoping the weather forecasters are right in that there's not going to be any rain otherwise it's going to be a real test out for my equipment it's down here is the last novice backpacker that came out alas poor Yorick I knew him well hopefully that's not me <laughs> you can see where we are out in the middle of nowhere at the moment. But this is great. It's taken me a fair while to get ready to do it. But I'm thinking it's going to be worth it. So let's carry on a little bit more. I probably won't do any more filming now until I get to the gate. And that'll be the true start of the adventure. So, I'll see you when we get there. Well, there it is. My first sign of the Heisen Trail. I'm about to, well, I'm actually on it now as I'm taking this. But uh, my first sign to say that I'm on the Heisen Trail now the adventure begins. Got about 3.3 kilometers to my camp tonight. So I'm uh, hoping I'll make it before this. I don't think it's going to rain, but I'm certainly hoping it doesn't. So that's my backpack. As I said, I've probably got way too much gear in there. This is where we're going is along this trek here over those hills in the distance right over there is where I'm going I believe and then into the Mount Elm campsite tonight where I shall be staying so let's keep going well Still going, just come along from over that hill there. I don't know whether you can behind me where the track comes along. Then we do a left hand turn. So now, we are heading 
up there. The track's pretty well marked actually. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get lost, well I hope not. So I think we're going to go up there and then we're going to go across to the right and we're going to end up over there. That track over there is where we've just come from over the top of those hills there and according to the GPS got 2.34 kilometers to go so we'll keep going all right see you in a bit just sort of take a minute and show you these little plants they come up everywhere had a bit of rain so they're absolutely beautiful the trail is uh, really well marked and you just walk from post to post well that's what I've been doing so far uh, in the distance there there's another post coming up where we're heading to in that tree line over there uh, yeah, I'm glad I've done a bit of training for it. Even so, I don't think I've done enough and this is only a short walk, so I've still got a long way to go. But, am I enjoying it? Yes. Okay, this is the view I've got that I'm walking through at the moment. And I don't know whether you can see way in the distance there. That's where I started from today it doesn't seem that far but it's far enough and this is the old fence line that the the trail is following along so as I said it's, it's reasonably easy to to follow we've come down or we'll come up actually from that group of trees down there We're moving along, I said there's the signs and we just keep following them. Let's just see if we can walk along a little bit and show you what we're going through. We've got the ranges in the background here. It's only starting to get low but I'm pretty confident I'll make it to camp well before sunset. Actually, I'm hoping I get there so I can see the sunset over the ranges. So that'll be quite spectacular, I think. But if I keep talking and filming, I'm never going to make it. Okay, just climbed through a creek area back here, back up from a creek up to here and it's not high but look at the view brilliant now what I'm going to do is go down that track there and uh, to make it worse I forgot my walking poles so I'm being extremely careful as you can well imagine all right Let's press on. Just arrived on this bit of an open section after having walked all through that scrub through there. You can see way in the background up there. Interesting walk. Glad I did a bit of training for it, not enough, but I'm glad I did some. So currently we're walking down this fence line down here. Let's come for a walk with me. Still got about a, a kilometre to go. But I'm getting closer for my camp for tonight. And I think I'm going to enjoy it. Okay, 
See you in a little while when I get to camp. Okay, I'm just I'm getting closer to my camp for the night. It's been an interesting walk. Ooh. Let's go hiking, they say. It's good for you, they say. <laughs> it probably is. I'm enjoying it. I sound like I'm complaining, but I'm actually not. I'm actually enjoying it a great deal. And I'm sure the more I walk, the easier it will become. So, I haven't got too much further to go now, apparently. Okay, coming into the, the last little area for today. Coming into Mount Elm campsite. Not too much further away. He says, hopefully, oh, sorry about that. Uh, just walking through a bit of a track. At least I'm not climbing up and down hills at the moment, which is good. Nice little bit of an easy walk into camp for tonight. As I said, this is only my first first section of the Hyson Trail. It's a bit of a shakedown trip. And yes, I think I am carrying too much gear. Fortunately, it's only a short, short trip. So I'm sure I'll get it sorted and be a bit better for the next one. Have a look at this, this is where I'm walking. Signs, uh, well the trail's very clearly marked. Can't really get lost in this section. Oh. scenery is beautiful walking amongst the, the bush here you can hear the birds very relaxing This video is probably not going to be real fancy as it's my first hike so it's not going to be a real fancy video so uh, sorry about that apologizing in advance I'll do as good as I can but uh, yeah maybe if I get used to this walking and, and filming on longer distances It'll get better. I hope you stay with me on this journey as I do sections of the Hyson Trail. Okay, not far from the camp. I'll see you when we get there. Well, I've arrived at the Mount Elm campsite. There's the shelter. Around here is the toilet, and I got the whole area to myself. Looking back to where I've come from, I'm very pleased with myself. The ranges up there, absolutely beautiful. So, uh, little spot here to have a bit of a campfire. Oh, so I'm going to have a sit down for five minutes. Got water here, which you got a treat. So I can get some water if I need it. I probably will. Uh, I don't know you can read that. So, I am going to have a little fire tonight, just to say I've done this. Okay, I need to get this pack off and sit down and have a bit of a break for 
10 minutes and then I'll look at setting my camp up. I'll see you then. Well, finally got my fire going. Took a little while, the wood's a bit damp from the rain we had the other day. But yes, I got it going. Just having a little bit of tea. Just relaxing now. My thoughts for today were, yeah, whilst I've done some training for, for hiking, I can still see I've got a lot more to do. So, But am I enjoying it? Oh yeah, I am. Lovely little camp spot here. Nothing around here at the moment, except the lovely warmth of the fire. And boy, is that nice. Well, good morning. Made it to day two. It was a bit cold last night, but uh, overall, it was a good night. There was very little wind. Uh, got quite cold about three o'clock in the morning when nature called. But uh, other than that, it was uh, a very comfortable night's sleep. So this morning I've already started to pack up. I've got to cook myself some brekkie for breakfast yet. And then uh, I'm going to hike out to uh, Jarvis Hill where I'll be collected, hopefully. But as you can see by looking around this morning, no clouds, it's very, very brisk. Um, I was hoping for a bit of a sunrise on the See if I can show you on the ranges behind me here. So I'm still hoping for that when the sun comes up that there'll be a bit of a bit of colour on the, the ranges there. I'll just show you around the, the campsite here. Uh, considering where it is, this looks after the volunteers, it's very clean, which is which it should be. Um, behind us here, the toilet. <laughs> haven't looked in there yet. I'll go and have a look shortly. And then down here, of course, my tent. And there we have a uh, the water shelter, a uh, shelter in water. Um, do you have to treat your water. You can't just drink it out of the tank, obviously. So you got to make sure you treat it. And they do tell you that on the sign to treat the water. Water before you consume it. But it's a beautiful area here. Absolutely beautiful. Here, let me show you. Let's go have a look at the dunny. <laughs> of course that's what you've been, the highlight of the trip is you've been wanting to see the dunny. I know you have. So let's go and have a look for you. Ah, uh, yeah. You'd use it, but it does need a clean. I guess. <coughs> when the maintenance crew come out they'll give it a clean up but I think it's pretty good alright Packing up, get some breakfast, and then start heading out. 
talk to you in a little bit. I don't know whether this is going to show it, but the, the sun is coming up now and starting to light up the ranges here and it looks beautiful. Well, good morning again. Finally packed up camp, and uh, now I'm on my way. I'm hoping today is going to be a bit easier than yesterday. Where we're heading, I'll show you in a moment. Is if I go around this way, up through there. Uh, not that far, he says hopefully. So, the terrain that we're in, I'll show you here, looks like it's going to be pretty flat. There's the trail going off down there between the trees bit of a road walk up to the top of that that hill there so not very far well <laughs> I say that now let's see what happens not a great deal to film here if I see something more I will film it for you until then I'm gonna keep walking I'm still walking, I'm still alive. Oh, excuse me. Oh, it's flat, but yeah, it certainly gives you a bit of a workout. I suppose carrying a big pack on my back as well is not helping. But just have a look at what I'm walking through. Look at that. Oh, hi again. 
Well, I've made it to the road. Now all I gotta do is walk up that road to the car park at the top. Hopefully it's not too steep. But it's been a good walk this morning. I've been walking for about an hour. We're just under an hour, about 50 minutes. And I've walked through all that scrub back there behind me. So it hasn't been too bad. This will soon get your fitness up doing this. I know I keep going on about fitness. But I'm a novice walker, so I'm learning very quickly and admiring these people that do this all the time. And hopefully, after a few more, this won't seem as hard. Is it difficult? No, it's not difficult. It beats making me work, which is good, good for my heart. So, I'm enjoying it. Well, that's the end of this trail for today. Just up there's the gate that I gotta to get to. I climbed all the way up this hill. Uh, you can't see it now. But right down to the base of those ranges you can see in the distance. So, not done too bad. It's taken me about 20 minutes from the bottom of this hill to this location here. So, I've just got these last few metres to go. Well, and uh, I'll be at the end of this, this section of the trail I can mark off on my map what I've done. So, okay, let me sum up. First, I need a lot more training, but that'll come as I do more trails, do some day walks, that will all come. Yeah. Probably carried a bit much for a one-nighter, so I'll cut that down for next time. Did I enjoy it? Sure did. Am I going to keep going? I sure am. So, there's going to be a lot more videos coming out as we progress. Oh. gonna find that there's a table over there so have a bit of a break I think for a minute and I'm not sure what this track's gonna be like looks like some idiot's been up here and uh, turned it up but basically this is where I get off the trail and as you can see the trail turns up there and you go up past Jarvis Hill Lookout and then across the top of the Yarrambula Ranges. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll uh, do a little map when I get back and uh, basically show you where I've been. That's just some of the ranges, some of the view. So, that's where I'm going to walk down. All right, that's it for this little video. 
I will see you on the next one. Bye for now. Okay, for this particular part of the trail, I use one of the Heisen trail maps and map for uh, sheet map sheet seven. I'll open it up in a minute and show you up basically where I went. As I said, it wasn't it's not a big trail that I did, but uh, we'll have a bit more of a look at it. Okay, have a look at a bit of the map here. I'm not sure how good this is going to show up, but down here we have the, the Oaks Homestead. That's where I got dropped off. And then I followed this trail all the way through to the start of the Heisen Trail here. This is where I joined on up here and around through here and right the way around to the campsite. I'm not sure exactly how far that was, but about three, between three and four kilometers to where I camped. As you can see, marked on the map here, camping shelter, water, and uh, we've got the, the campsite in that area there. So, so it's not a long way. So that was the first day. The next day, headed out from there, I'm heading across to Jarvis Hill, so going to this area here, and I'll just change over to the other map. So, carrying on from the Mount Elm campsite, right on the trail here. Now, that's the road section I did there, and then that takes you up to this junction just to here and there's a car park and that's where I completed my section of trail and then over to Hawker over here so there you go not a long trail about eight kilometers I think all in, in total on the actual Heisen trail so that's about eight kilometers I can knock off okay don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and don't forget to ring the bell or tick the bell so when I put out future videos you'll be able to, to see when they're up. Till next time, stay safe and enjoy life. Bye bye.